This is Kevin Mayo, your American correspondent for Real Elk Craft Beer, and today we're drinking Captain Lawrence Palette Shift Imperial IPA. It is part of their Captain series. Captain Lawrence is a fairly small brewery with limited range. They're right outside of New York City in Elmsford, New York, and they do, uh, you know, parts of New York, Connecticut, and northern New Jersey, and that's really it, what they call a tri-state area. This is 9% ABV. And it's on a 90 IBU. It's got some classic American hops in it. Um, and it's a very limited release. We're going to go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. We'll go ahead and give it a pour. Well, we got quite a bit of head on it. We've got three fingers of just slightly off whitehead and I am getting some big citrus aromas coming up through this already. It's quite hazy. Not a ton of carbonation. We've got a few straight bubbles going up through it and probably a dark yellow. I want to really dive in and get into the aroma because like I said you can really smell stuff even from a distance. You know, so we got pine, we got citrus, grapefruit. I wonder if there's a date on this. I didn't even. Yeah, that's right. I did look it up before I bought it. It was brewed on 8:20, August 20th. So that would be seven weeks ago. Uh, maybe probably eight weeks ago. This is uh, November, so it still should be. On a reasonably fresh end, it's within 90 days. That's kind of t tends to be the cutoff. And there's another fruit in there, the uh, like a dark cherry or can't quite put my hand on it, but like a deeper, richer type of fruit. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Wow, really just a classic Imperial, and I say West Coast IPA because those IBUs are building fast. This is a bitter, bitter beer. I mean, really, you don't get it at the first taste, but it just builds at the back end and stays there right on the back of the tongue. If you've got a friend that says, I don't really like craft beer, and I don't see what the big deal is, uh, don't start them with this one. <laughs> they really won't like it. So, we got some malt back growing up front. And it's kind of on the softer side of it. Um, it it's, I don't really get, a lot of times I use the word, a description of toffee and caramel. I don't really get that. Uh, maybe toast, bread, white bread. And there's some pine in there, getting that really thick IPA pine resin coat in the tongue. Finish is quite dry. You do get after the, so we do the bread, we do the pine, and then we get some grapefruit. We'll freshen that glass up a little bit. Like I said, it is 9% ABV, so you got to be careful with this one. And again, it really follows the aroma. The grapefruit, I didn't mention pine in the aroma. I didn't pick up much pine, but get a little bit more. Get some pine, some grapefruit. Just massive wall of bitterness at the end, and it stays with you. That bitter stays with you. Nice sipping beer. Really, truly classic double IPA, American West Coast IPA. It, uh, not for the faint of heart, and I lost the thread. I'm going somewhere, I'm trying to think of something else I was going to say about this beer, and it totally slipped my mind. So, I guess we'll just come up with a score at this point and see if it comes back to me. Score-wise, hits, it hits all the tasting notes, um, but in today's world, I don't know that it stands out as much 
in today's world, um, we're getting a lot more of the fruity floral type beers, the IPAs. Uh, I've heard it called the New England style, which I really like because it's kind of heady top and it really, really kicked it off. But there's eight or nine other beers out there that are really people going crazy for. So I think it's a good beer, probably a high B, high B beer. So we'll say like an 87 out of 100. And I, like I said, Captain Lawrence has really done a good job. The three or four beers I've tried by them for a, a, a company that no one talks about. You never hear anybody talking about Captain Lawrence. But for a company that no one really talks about, I think they hit some real home runs. And, you know, I gave this one 87. I don't, want, I don't know if I'd call it a home run. But it's, it's, it's still a solid, solid beer. Till next time, keep drinking.